Hi there. In our last session, we have seen how we can do histogram equalization of an RGB image by just modifying the or by just equalizing the histogram of all the grayscale levels into that image. Now, let's see how we can do the histogram equalization of a color image or RGB image. And this is the most famous LENA image which is used in image processing very widely due to its varied colors and sizes and all those things. And we are going to do the RGB image equalization onto this image. But first we have to understand that if I read this image, then what I read is the dimensions of the image and then it has three components, red, green and blue. And if I try to do the histogram equalization on either of the red, green or blue component of that image, then it will totally distort the image which will completely disturb the colors present inside the image and whatever we get as an output will not be definitely the histogram equalized image but it will be completely cracked out image out of it. So what we need to do basically is we need to have to understand where the color resides into this image and to do that we need a different color space like HSV. We have seen how to do the RGB to HSV conversion in a previous session. Here we are going to see the application of it. So as you can see, the hue and the saturation, both of them will decide a particular shade of the color. But the third component that is value decides, but the third component that is value decides the level or the intensity of the color. And we have to do the histogram equalization working on to this level of the color. Now for that sake what we are going to do is we are going to first read the image with this command. Then what we do is we convert it into an HSV format image with this line uh, using RGB to HSV. Then we will just have another variable V1 where we will extract out of this HSV1 image the third component colon colon 3 will give us only the third vector that is of value. And then what we do is V1 is equal to histogram equalization or histq of v1 itself so what we have done is we have extract converted this rgb image to hsv format then we have taken the value out into a single matrix or a vector then we have done this the histogram equalization on the same vector we can also see it at this point and we will also see it at this point and then what we have to do is whatever component that we have taken from the hsv image we will restore it back here so hsv1 of colon colon 3 is equal to v1 so the original v1 whatever is present in the hsv image will be replaced by the new v1 which is histogram equalized and then we back convert that hsv image into rgb image and then we show it so this is the standard procedure by which you can easily do histogram equalization of an rgb image now let's try this program and let's see the output at multiple different stages. I'll take a new MATLAB program over here and I'll just call it, let's say, RGB underscore hist. So the very first thing is RGB1 is equal to I am read leno.jpg. What you can do is you can just create a subplot where you have just 2, 2, 1 and then you can plot it. So I am show RGB1 and then title original. Next what we do is HSV1 is equal to RGB2 HSV RGB1 and then if needed you can also try this subplot 2, 2, 2 I am show HSV1 comma title HSV converted. So this is done. Next what we do is we take out the component out of it. So instead of just taking let's split it into three parts. Okay. Now let's take the part of the image which contains the value so let's take v1 is equal to hsv1 colon colon that will skip the uh, row and column means we'll take all the values and three 
so 3 will give us precisely only the value if needed you can again show this so 3 comma 2 comma 3 I am sure v1 only value part of the image then what we'll do is v1 is equal to hist eq that's the function we use hist eq and we'll give the input v1 itself as done before we'll also display this image now the value part equalized next we place this back into the hsv image so hsv1 of colon comma colon comma 3 is equal to v1 like this and then what we do is we just down convert it back so rgb new is equal to hsv2 rgb and hsv1 now what happened here is we have replaced that third part or the v1 part with the new equalized one and we have converted it back now let's take subplot 3 comma 2 comma 5 i am show and here i will show rgb underscore new and let's give a title equalized rgb i am show and here you can just put a comma just run this and we'll see the different outputs of this image so this is the original image this is the hsv conversion of this image this is only the value part extracted and this is the value part equalized and this is back the original equalized rgb image now to have a better visualization let's just do 1 comma 2 comma 1 let's remove all of these subplots and just print this one so 1 comma 2 comma 2 so we'll see only the original lena and the histogram equalized one as you can see looks much better than the original one and that's how we do the histogram equalization on an rgb image i hope you have understood this concept well practice this on different images to see the different outputs as well as do print out or do display whatever image component you want so as to get a better understanding of what algorithm we are doing and what is exactly happening into the code thanks for watching this video